नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स टुडे यू विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर एट मोर ऑन फ्रैक्शन पार्ट वन पेज नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन ऑफ और जूनियर मैथ्स बुक फाइव सो ऑल ऑफ यू टेक आउट योर जूनियर मैथ्स बुक फाइव एंड ओपन एट पेज नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन टुडे यू विल स्टार्ट विथ मल्टीप्लाइंग फ्रैक्शन बिफोर you learnt what are fractions the different types of fractions and also the addition and subtraction of fractional numbers today we will learn the multiplication of fractional numbers we all know that multiplication is also repeated addition the repeated addition of a fraction of number of times is the same as the multiplication of the fraction by a whole number now why it is said look at the board very carefully now look at this strip it is divided into four equal parts it is a whole, the whole strip is this one and it is divided into 1 2 3 4 four equal parts so each part each of the part it is each part is 1 by 4 now you can see that i have shaded one part a shaded box equal to 1 by 4 of the strip is placed next to 1 by 4 this is 1 by 4 one part i have shaded and these are the four parts so for one part of the four parts i have shaded so now Let us do one thing. We add three such shaded box. Three shaded box. One, two, three. We will take three shaded box. So that means four boxes are there and i have shaded three so it will be the fraction will be 3 by 4 now three times 1 by 4 is 3 by 4 how this 3 by 4 if we add 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 Plus one by four. You know how to do the addition. As the numerators are same, we will add the numerators. So if we add these three numerators, it becomes one plus one plus one, three, three by four. Here also, it is three by four. Three times of one by four. That means three into one by four is equal to three by four. So it is three by four and it is three by four. This one I have done with the help of addition, and this one I have done with the help of multiplication. But the result comes same. That is why multiplication is repeated addition. Now I am rubbing this one. Exercise eight a. One a two e. This will be done in the book. That you will do by yourself. 
clear now we will go to straight way multiplication take out page number 68 it is written multiply i'm taking the example of 2a what is written 3 by 2 by 30 what is the rule of the multiplication first one first one is we multiply the numerator by the whole number 3 into 2 by 30 by here it, it means into first step is we multiply multiply the numerator by the whole number second step we convert the product into lowest term clear and the third one is if it is an improper fraction that means numerator is bigger than the denominator improper fraction then we change it into a mixed fraction these three things we have to remember why doing multiplication of fractional numbers multiply the numerator by the whole number is first step we convert the product into lowest term this is the second and if it is after doing that if it is an improper fraction then we have to change it into mixed fraction now how we will do this i am having whole it was written 3 into 2 by 30 clear what we what was the first step first step was is equal to sign you have to give we multiply the numerator by the whole number numerator is 2 and the whole number is 3 so 2 into 3 the denominator remains same then 3 into 2 is equal to 6 6 by 30 now 6 by 13 we cannot change it into lowest term okay uh, i i want to make you remember one thing when in lowest term while converting into lowest term we have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number here you can see that here it is 6 and here it is 13 so there is no such number that divides both 6 and the 13 So six by thirteen remains same, and it is your answer. Six by thirteen, and it is a proper fraction as numerator is smaller. So we won't have to change it into improper. Um, sorry, mixed fraction. It is a proper fraction. Now there is another way to do. Suppose ten. Into three by four. So one one process was there that we multiply numerator by the whole number. Ten into three by four. Here here it is ten and here it is four. So is there any number that divides ten as well as four? Yes, it is two. So you can make it lowest over here. You will divide four by two. The result comes as two. You will write the question here. And if we divide ten by two, the result comes as five. Now we write five into three. And here the denominator. Then five into three is equal to fifteen. Fifteen by two. 
and there is no such number that divides both the numerator and the denominator. So this fraction remains same, 15 by 2. We cannot convert it into lowest term. But here you can see that this fraction is in proper fraction as the numerator is bigger and the denominator is smaller. So what we will do? We will change it into mixed fraction. And you know how do we do that? Then we do the division. This division you will do in graph. Clear? Now, the denominator remains the same. Quotient becomes the whole number and the remainder now comes as numerator. And your answer is 7 whole 1 by 2. So in this way you will have to do the multiplication. But again I want to make you remember my dear students. If you do not learn the table properly when the numbers will be the bigger that time you will not be able to do. How many times you will go on division, division, division? So learn the table properly. These are the examples using smaller numbers. But later you will get the bigger numbers. That time multiplication table is must. Now, exercise 8a. In the book, sorry, in the maths class or copy. Two B, three C D, four A D, five B C. Six A and B. These are the sums that you will have to do in your maths class or copy. In our next class, we will continue with multiplication. Till then, Namaskar students.